Hey guys, Lightning Card Gaming here, and today I'm back with another video from a battle in Arena 7. So right now, as the loading screen uh, comes up, I'm just gonna wait for my uh, elixir to go to 10, and then I'll drop my knight at the back because it is a cheap tank. Now, as you can see, I've been able to upgrade my knight to level 9, and I've also upgraded my zap to level 9. And um, on the 24th of August, um, Supercell released a balance update where the zap now only stuns troops for just half a second. So that's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it's still a great card to use as it can still reset Sparky or take out those minor troops just as easily. So not uh, too, not something too bad, but it would have been nice to keep that one second. So right now, I'm just gonna throw down my Goblin Barrel to see if he has anything to counter that. So I know the only direct damage he has right now is a zap because he used it before, but he doesn't have an arrow or a fireball. So that's something good, and so that's something we can keep to our advantage. So he countered that um, Goblin Barrel with Barbarians. Personally, I don't think that was a very good move because he could have he could have um like just taken some damage off of his main tower instead of taking away five elixir to put down those um barbarians so right now i'm gonna set up a mini push with my uh, goblin barrel witch and the skeletons and uh spear goblins that'll give us some minor amount of damage so that's a good thing we're up on damage right now so right now i also place down my knight in the middle to attract those goblins and also to tank uh tank the fire of the um wizard now, i was thinking of putting down my uh, musketeer but it's not really worth it because that um knight's gonna die pretty quickly so we don't put anything so i'm waiting for my elixir to reload and then i drop my musketeer and now we're right about to head into double time so i put down my giant skeleton to set up a good push and right now we're just waiting for things to play out so, the great thing is that this guy only has level 7, um, level 7 minions, so I can take those out with the zap without any problem. So, that is one great advantage that I had in this game. And right now, we're getting a good amount of damage off of his tower with the goblin barrel and the push we set up with our witch and musketeer. So, I'm just gonna take out his royal giant, which, uh, should go down with, uh, not too many problems. And again, I'm going to set up another mini push with my um, Musketeer Witch and um, Giant Skeleton. As you can see, the Giant Skeleton is tanking for most of the fire. And for the first time, he actually uses his Zap effectively to take out my Goblin Barrel. So right now, things are looking okay. We just have to take down his tower. And we're uh, heading into overtime now. So we have one minute to take it down. So as long as we can uh, make sure that we can um, set up a good put, a good push, we'll be fine. So again, I have a push going, and I'm gonna uh, put down my spear, go um, my goblin barrel. And this time, he's not gonna be countering it with anything. So that's gonna be giving us the game right there. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably be starting the push to Arena Eight soon. So if you like today's content. Rate, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.